and it was always why not me and i realized why not me it's because that's not me Hello everyone, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. Today we are going to be talking about TikTok, more specifically the main character phenomenon. If you've watched my day in the life video, you know that I frequent TikTok quite a bit and something I've noticed on there is called being a main character. I've seen it in a lot of comments and I thought, you know, we should discuss it because there's a lot of things about it that rub me the wrong way. Uh, it's, it's just a bit problematic. Also, I forgot to mention the elephant in the room. Um, I got new earrings. I'm totally kidding. I got new braids. New summer style. But this is completely irrelevant to the video, so carry on. Now Paige, what is the main character you might ask? Well, take a look at a few TikToks and then we'll talk about it. So the first video is obviously someone dancing, it's a girl in front of a really really pretty sunset. At first I thought, you know, this is a really cute video, and then I saw one comment that said, wow, you are such a main character. And I was just like, what, what is that? What is a main character? So let me break it down for you. A main character, I wrote it down actually, I wrote down a list. Here's what I gathered from what it takes to be a main character on TikTok. One, lead a crazy life for 60 seconds. Two, it helps if you're attractive. Um, three, be a good photographer or a videographer. And four, be good at editing because at the end of the day, that is what these are, they are edits. And I think that's the problem because I'm not even trying to sound shady, but is it a good cinematic experience? Yes. Does it make their lives look interesting? Yes, but at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's to make their lives look interesting. It's very edited. It's very glamorized. I just feel like some people legitimately put themselves down and it's, I just, I hate to see it. I hate to see it. Like I literally hate to see it. I can see how it would be easy to think that though. Cause like they have the looks, they're spontaneous. They have friends that want to go out. They, they look like they're from a movie and it's kind of like, what am I doing wrong? But the point is, you're not doing anything wrong. The highs of someone's life that they record and put on TikTok should not make you put yourself down. And I just hate to see that some people literally feel bad about their life because they're watching a one minute video of someone else's life. I think we just need to remember that everyone has something wrong with them. Like everyone has something wrong with them. If they have a bunch of something here, they're lacking a lot of something here. You know what I mean? If they have one thing that seems great, they have 99 other things that aren't great. Whether it be physically, mentally, financially, none of us are perfect characters in our own life. And also, not everyone wants to climb onto the roof of buildings or explore abandoned water parks or drive to the mountains at 3 a.m. or lay on the parking lot and blast music in the rain. Like, not everyone wants to do that. A main character might like puzzles, they might like to read, they might like to sleep, they might like naps. If you like doing all that stuff, like running around with your friends at night, kudos to you and if you don't kudos to you people doing the things that they want to do and loving it makes them a main character point blank period they don't have to like what's traditional they don't have to be spontaneous they don't have to be introverted they don't have to be quirky everyone is a main character because we are all alive being spontaneous and adventurous doesn't make you any better than someone who's introverted and a homebody or the opposite you know we're all just like we're all out here, honestly. Bro? Yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't know. Yo. Yo. I was out here. 
I just used to come from a place where I compared myself to everyone. Like, why did they have a bunch of friends? Why can they do whatever they want? Why are they doing all the cool things? Why are they so confident? Why can they travel? And it was always, why not me? And I realized that why not me? It's because that's not me. I just, I started to think that I wasn't good enough and that my experiences weren't validated because they weren't like the, the cool kids. Cool, like cool whatever that means like everyone's cool literally being cool is so overrated like every like i literally could care less actually i hate when people say that because it's like you could care less like so you care a lot <sighs> anyways my point is everyone's great in their own lives and we are all the main characters of it regardless of what's going on if you're living vicariously through other people's experiences and you think that you're undeserving of attention or a meaningful life then you seriously need to reevaluate. It's cool to think someone's living a good life and it's even cooler to get inspiration from it but don't ever let that doubt yourself and make you feel like your life isn't worthy because you matter, your experiences matter. It might not be the most glamorous or like I said earlier those TikToks are glamorized. It might not be glamorous but it's still your life and you are validated in that. I want to end this video by showing a positive TikTok because a lot of them, as great and as wonderfully edited as they may be, it can be hard to like not compare yourself to other people. So I thought I would end it with this video and um, so I'm going to just say bye here. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot. Um, I have opinions like this on just different topics and I haven't seen anyone make a video about being a main character and so I'm not sure if this will get any views but I'm not this is not why I have a channel it's not to just get a bunch of views so if you feel the same way if you even watch TikTok or not just comment something um I hope you like the video tell someone you love them bye I am the main character in my story and you're the main character in yours Duh. How are you going to let somebody else be the main character in your own story? That is the wrong attitude completely. You are the protagonist. You have to start romanticizing your life. You have to start thinking of yourself as the main character. Because if you don't, life will continue to pass you by. And all the little things that make it so beautiful will continue to go unnoticed. So take a second and look around and realize that it's a blessing for you to be here right now.